Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys news update. We got some brand new action figures to talk about from a line that I'm very stoked on. I am very much invested in this line. I think that everything that they do for it has been a constant upgrade from when we initially started, so that is always a plus. But it is a line that immerses you in a world that just doesn't exist anymore, but it's a world that I love to live in for DC Comics. DC Comics, if you haven't noticed, is all over the place. But when it comes to that core idea, especially with a line like Batman 66, it's Batman and Robin, the Batmobile, fighting criminals. But the criminals are dudes in suits. They have these wacky criminal ideas and schemes and they're going for gold or wax <laughs> that can burn through a safe. It's stuff like that, whereas a lot of it has gone kind of, oh, here's a multiverse and here's infinite Batmans. And it's like, I don't want any of that. I just want Batman and Robin fighting crime. Is that so much to ask? No, not when it comes to toys. And that's the beauty of it. You can create and have everything on your shelf, well, as provided McFarland Toys makes it. But that's what we're here to talk about today because we got a brand new line of Batman 66. And if you've seen my videos before, yes, I absolutely love what they're doing. Not everything is, wow, that's amazing. A lot of it is kind of hearkening now to the Batman 66 spin-off comic book, which I don't mind. I know a lot of people out there are like, yeah, it's not for me. But regardless, it makes for some fun toys, really fun designs. And for that, we got a lot to talk about today. And as always, if you are interested in anything you see here today in the video, I will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. As always, thank you very much for using my links. Helps the channel to grow. But enough about all that. We got some Batman 66ers to talk about. Namely, in the show of, well, the comic book. We're going to start this off with the Batman 66 comic with the Space Batman Jetpack Batman very much a, a Kennerized kind of deal in so many ways. Reminds me of some TNBA and little Batman the Animated Series from Kenner back in the day. And then even before that, it's all the movies, you get the idea. He looks cool. Again, this is from the comic, not from the show. But it fits within that universe. It's very much a 60s, 70s kind of stylistic action figure with that old school retro technology. So for that alone... I think it makes for an interesting Batman. We have a ton of Batmans in this line, so for a lot of you out there, it might be like, mm, yeah, I'm not good. What else you got? But for those of you that like a really cool retro-inspired Batman, the space Batman might be right up your alley. Now, again, from the comic book, because obviously Nightwing wasn't in the whole Batman 66 show, but we have... <laughs> Basically, Disco Nightwing, or a lot of people have been calling him P-Star Nightwing. Either way works. That's a lot of chest hair you got there going Nightwing. But the suit, the suit is very much the comic book suit now translated into a very Batman 66-esque look. And for that alone, yeah, I kind of appreciate it. You don't even have to say that this is Robin Nightwing Burt Ward kind of deal, it could just say, oh, it's another character on your shelf completely. If you wanted to go that route, it's kind of in my mind how I'm kind of doing it, but I like <laughs> the sound effects on this one, Vronk. They kind of overdid it with the whole punching sound effects, but Vronk, yeah, that that's, they gotta have a Vronk in your collection. The blues, the yellows, really go well with the black. I love the bell bottoms. I love the platform shoes. This one is special. This one is very cool. This one I'll definitely be grabbing for the old Batman 66 shelf. And then to wrap it up, we're going to head over to Amazon. This is an Amazon gold label exclusive. This is the Joker Man and his Joker Mobile, again, from the Batman 66 comic book, not the television show. We've already gotten Joker Man. He was already released. This is a bit of a, I guess you say color change. He's got a cape now. It has all the sound effects all over it. Fine. Here's the problem with the Batmobile 
being jokerized, right? I've already seen all the comments. For me, I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. I like the Batman 66 line. That's right up my alley. I love the old school Joker logo on the sides, on the hood. That is awesome. But the problem is for the masses at large, and then just the overall idea that McFarlane Toys with their DC Multiverse and their Batman lines have been putting forth into the immediate public is that we do these corny repaints, we do these Jokerized things, and yes, as we've discussed, the Jokerized repaints are a way to get in more money so that they can make other figures. They're limited figures, they're not flooding the market, and no, they're not really sitting on shelves if you see them at all anymore, but that's when you show off something like this, which I go, well, that's pretty cool, but then everyone else is gonna go, that's a Jokerized Batmobile. They Jokerized the car. Everything's Jokerized, and that's what you've done, McFarlane Toys. You've made a mockery of an otherwise really cool looking thing, and now it's, well, it's just Jokerized. So please keep that in mind for the future, because I like this. I think that it's cool, I think that it's different, it fits within that corniness a Batman 66, but a lot of people out there are not gonna see it that way, especially Batman 66 non-enthusiasts. You know what I'm saying? Nice colors, purple. I love the red lensed sort of deal for the back and front windshields. Everything looks cool on this. Joker Man though, I could take it or leave it. But again, it's just a fun Batman 66 goofy DC Comics vehicle and action figure set. So for that alone, that's why I'm digging it. Amazon exclusives if you want it. You can grab it now through my links down below. But to head back to the show now, specifically the episode, The Ring of Wax, we have a Riddler scheme involving, well, Robin. And I'm gonna be honest with you, getting a wax Robin, not on my immediate list of things. Is it a repaint with some waxiness to it? Sure, it's a way to get Robin back out. Does it achieve the look? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to say it, but you get it, right? It's one of those things where you're gonna look at it and go, yeah, I mean, I'm sure he's covered in wax, <laughs> but it's again, maybe one of those where you go, should we do this? I guess we're doing this, hmm, there you go. Wax Robin <laughs> comes with a few accessories. That's always nice to see, and they're new accessories, which is always a nice touch. So again, if you want this wax, Robin, you can grab him now. All of those aside, Roddy McDowell has finally entered the Batman 66 line with Bookworm. And I have been asking for Bookworm. No problems, no qualms. Thank you, McFarlane Toys, for making Bookworm. I am stoked on this figure. That looks great. I love the fedora. He's got his book light hat on there. I'm curious to see if that moves. I'm gonna say probably not, being that the Batman 66 line is a little bit limited in some sense, but don't get me wrong. I love this line because of the retro feel. I've seen the comments, I get it. A lot of people go, why aren't you improving the articulation? That's not the point of this line. The line is meant to invoke toys that came out during the show with that retro feel. I don't want these overly articulated. The articulation are fine. If you wanna put these characters in the DC Multiverse line, do it that way. But this is the appropriate level of articulation for a line that's going for this type of style. You have all the looks. The looks, the designs, are spot on to the show, especially the villains. If you've not seen Egghead or King Tut, my God, they're great action figures, and Bookworm looks to be no exception. So he comes with his magnifying glass. Again, he's got the brown suit, the gloves, it's perfect. That is bookworm through and through. But we've already gotten the Batcave. We've gotten Wayne Manor. We need the caretaker of the grounds. And we finally have an official Alfred Pennyworth action figure. And that is awesome. A lot of people from the adventures of Batman and Robin line, they were going to use that Commissioner Gordon and just call it Alfred. You could still do that if you'd like, but this one is officially Alfred, and I love that he comes with his feather duster, right? <laughs> I love that. And then finally, we get the bat phone. That way, we could put it in our various play sets, which you might have to get two Alfreds so you can have a bat phone, one area, bat phone, and the other. 
Just saying. But no, you don't need two Alfreds. Just one is enough. Again, the feather duster, the overall look of Alan Napier. Pretty cool. Love these figures. Very stoked on this wave, if you can't tell. But again, a mixture of the Batman 66 comic book, mixture of the original TV show. I like that you can pick and choose. If you only want the one, you go for the one. Everyone else, you want them all, you can grab them. Again, affiliate links down in the description below. And going forward into the future, I really hope the Batman 66 line continues. I would love to see Louis the Lilac. I would love to see Dick Grayson, Bruce Wayne in their civilian clothes. There's a lot of goons, I think, that fleshing them out. Now, I know that's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but a goon three-pack, maybe some inner swappable. Yeah, you know, something like that would be right up my alley just to kind of finalize the line. They don't have too much more to go. You could do Aunt Harriet too. But for what we've been given, if you want to do another vehicle, like the Batcopter, maybe a shark, that would be awesome. I'm just saying, as far as I'm concerned, more Batman 66 Por favor. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Batman 66. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, if there's any characters I left off that quick list in my head, let me know down in the comments below. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.